There are growing concerns by some stakeholders over the current draft National Information Technology Development Agency, Repel and Reenactment Bill 2021, which seeks to convert the National Information Technology Development Agency NITDA from a development to a regulatory agency. The bill seeks to enact the act that will empower NITDA to provide for the administration, implementation and regulation of information technology systems and practice in Nigeria. However, some of the stakeholders are worried that a bill, if passed into law, will lead to overlapping regulatory functions between NITDA, the Computer Professionals Registration Council, otherwise referred to as CPN, and the existing telecom industry regulator, the Nigeria Communications Commission, NCC. One of such key industry voices that has called for the rejection of the NITDA bill is the Nigeria Computer Society, NCS, the umbrella body of IT professionals and practitioners under the leadership of Professor Adishino Sodia. According to Sodia, the NITDA bill lacks stakeholders' input and will lead to conflicting interests with the CPN Act and other agencies like the NCC. Uh, it shows from their activities that they didn't even want to they didn't want to engage uh, stakeholders at all. And uh, let me also give us a little bit of background. This bill, when neither was to be set up, it was our members that developed this, the draft NIDA bill of 2020, 2007. NCS championed the establishment of NIDA. And we expected that uh, when something is going to happen there, it should, it should also engage us, it should involve us. Uh, the level of engagement we have seen is not, is not, we are not satisfied with it at all. In fact, there was no even a formal engagement with NCS on the issue of the interview. And uh, we are not happy. And uh, of course, we have been engaging them, IT development agency, you know. And we still, at that point, I will need to encourage, support IT development in this country. You know, we are not, and we, we expect NIDA to concentrate on that aspect. Speaking further, the NCS president believes that CPN has been helping to ensure sanity in the practice of IT in Nigeria through its efforts at combating quickly and fake practices in the sector. A key reference according to the NCS leadership is given the fact that NIDA is supposed to be a developmental body from inception Changing its functions into regulatory responsibility will not mean well for Nigeria and other agencies already playing such roles. Well, in the, in the last one year or two, together with CPN, we have been promoting IT professionalism, professionalism in IT. We have been working so well, like I said, to fight Kwakri and to bring all IT professionals. But of course, you know, we, I want to mention to us that uh, CPN is an agency of government, you know, under the Federal Ministry of Education, established by Act Number no. 49 of 1993. Uh, and this organization, this council, CPN, is responsible for controlling and supervision of all persons and organizations involved in the use of computational machineries. IT tools and other techniques related there to or and provision of professional service in computing in this country. So the further gives knocks to the bill which it says calls for worry and serious concerns with the proposition that in the future, despite being a specialized agency, that a chief executive officer of NITDA would not need to necessarily be an IT professional among other contentious issues capable of derailing the gains of the industry so far. Uh, take some of the functions of other bodies, you know, trying to make NIDA a monster in the IT ecosystem, you know, trying to make NIDA to even be a player when he's supposed to actually be supporting and developing, you know. So because of these reasons, um, the position of NCS is that uh, that bill should be rejected by National Assembly. As part of its regulatory preview, in its proposed bill and the inclusion of the concept of digital economy as part of its intended regulatory functions that seeks to expand needs their frontiers to matters within the exclusive regulatory mandate of the NCC. 
the Nigeria Computer Society believes that this will impact the Commission's functions in Section 4 of the Nigerian Communications Act 2003 that empowers the NCC to regulate communication services that drive the digital economy. With such a loud voice of opposition by the NCS, which is provital to the establishment of NITSDA, the industry is waiting and watching how things will play out in 2023 before the current National Assembly and this election year.